All right, so today I'm gonna pull this Kenworth out of the carport so I can start swapping the front bumper. I'm trading this big beefy one to a guy who's using his A model for logging. He has a, a chrome bumper, which I'd prefer to put on this truck. Once I get stacks and wheels, it'll look pretty sharp, I think. But first thing, gotta get the truck out because there's not much room to work on it between the Ford that's in here and the Jeep hard top and everything that's over there. It's roughly 33, 34 degrees outside, which is probably the coldest I've ever tried to start this truck in. So let's see if I can get it started or am I gonna have to jump start it with the Ford or the Jeep or something? So let's see. So, I already soaked the bumper bolts in penetrating oil. I'm not exactly sure which bolts hold on everything. It might actually be every bolt on the front, the face of the bumper attached to the frame somehow. So, I'm going to start tearing it apart and see what I can what I can do. I gave it all I had today and well, I didn't make much progress. The I got four bolts out on the on the face of it. And this one was a royal pain that was it's still kinda hot too from whaling on it. Broke uh broke my breaker bar. So it was a, a breaker bar for sure, trying to loosen these. So that's where I'm at. I'm going to uh, clean up shop for today, or close up shop, whatever, and come back and uh, attempt to work on it again. I'm going to soak these things in more PB Blaster than that I originally soaked them in, and hopefully I can get the face of the bumper off tomorrow and work on the mounts because this does have a frame tie-in for this piece that strengths uh, spans the back of the bumper goes from about well, I guess where the bolts are to the frame here. I think this is it right here actually this piece um, Kind of hope that isn't it because that looks like it's gonna be a bitch to get off too but How do you get to those looks like it ties into the To the frame here Well gonna keep working tomorrow and yeah and there's my Jeep finally showed up so maybe I'll actually get some progress made on this thing this winter well I didn't really get any video of finishing removing the old bumper and the center pole bracket because it turned into a quite the ordeal with all the rust but I can give you a quick rundown 
basically the center pole bolts in here and these three bolts so four bolts on each side and then it had um, two bolts that were vertical on each side and then all the face bolts and most of those are rusted in place um, I think actually some of the bolts are still in there broken off for torch the heads off and they just didn't want to come out but this is the bumper that I got second hand for the truck I think it really I think it suits the truck a little better than the the big center pole one even though that was a cool bumper if I was building a, a big a big work truck that would be what I would keep but uh, we put this on last night in the dark and we had to drive this thing home because the truck we were driving from uh the shop where we were keeping this is uh was broken another thing we learned unfortunately is the leaf spring hangers cracked on this side so if you have a leaf spring hanger or know someone with one i'm gonna need to replace that um thankfully we're not using the truck for anything right now other than play around with so not too worried but there it is with the new bumper I'm going to, uh, I was told that I could put, probably put a piece of a 2x4 right here and use a mallet and kind of tap this down to get that crease out. And I don't have to do the same on the bottom right here. But that's, that's not too bad. So I'm going to work on that and then possibly wash the, wash the truck. Because sitting out here in the, the desert, you get dirty.